A widowed dad buys an old crib for his twin babies from a flea market and discovers an envelope with a strange message that leads him to something unexpected. After his wife died giving birth, Carl was forced to raise their twin girls on his own, and juggling work and childcare became cumbersome for him. He worked at a construction company and often took on more shifts to be able to afford a nanny for his children. Unfortunately, one day he was working his shift when he injured his leg. This made him a liability more than an asset in his job, prompting his employer to terminate him. Dejected, he battled for a month to manage his bills before landing a job as a cashier at a grocery store. His salary at his new job wasn't handsome enough, but it was a lot considering he had no money and their days were spent on a shoestring budget. One day, Carl was home when his neighbor, Mrs. Jones, visited him. She had baked some cookies and wanted to share some with her neighbors. Her heart broke when she saw the twins lying on the couch surrounded by pillows because Carl couldn't afford a crib. They're so expensive, Carl complained. I could hardly make ends meet with my salary, let alone buy a crib. Oh dear, Mrs. Jones said, placing a reassuring hand on Carl. Why don't you get one from a flea market? I know of many mothers who just sell their cribs after their kids have outgrown them, and you can get one at a reasonable price. But Mrs. Jones, he continued, I have no idea about them. Like, I've never shopped for such stuff. Oh, so that's the problem, Mrs. Jones laughed. Listen, Carl, I can come with you to the flea market. How about we go this weekend? That would be very generous of you. Thank you, Carl replied. After browsing through the flea market that weekend, Carl finally bought a crib for his babies with Mrs. Jones's help. He brought the crib home and decided to clean it first. He started polishing the wood, then he removed the old cushion. That's when he discovered an envelope underneath. He flipped it numerous times, wondering if it belonged to the crib's previous owner. He decided to open it and began to read the letter he found inside. What he read surprised him, to say the least. It said, If you're reading this, I'm glad you bought this crib. I hope this helps your children have a good night's sleep and delightful afternoon naps. After all, what greater delight can a parent have than to watch their children resting peacefully? But the good news is, there's a surprise waiting for you at Station Road. You'll find it under house number 93. Carl was dumbfounded but intrigued, so the next day he left the babies with his neighbor Sharon as he typically did when he was away from home and drove to the address. Once there, he found himself in front of an abandoned old house. He figured when the letter said look under the house, it meant under the ground, so he began to dig in the backyard. It took Carl several days to dig the backyard as it was huge, but he didn't find anything. He'd been returning to the house every day after his shift for several days. He even finished digging up the whole front yard, yet nothing. Dejected, Carl stopped visiting the house, thinking the letter was just a prank. But one day, while working his shift at the grocery store, he discovered another note in the basket where he kept the receipts. It was written in the same handwriting as the previous letter. Digging is not what will lead you to it, it said this time. What you're looking for is under the house. Go to the living room and look under the carpet. This time, it better be worth it, Carl muttered as he slipped the note into his pocket. He returned to the old house the next day and was surprised to discover a secret cachet under the carpet. Jesus, so it was all true, he wondered as he pulled the cachet's latch and discovered a box inside. When he opened the box, he found thick wads of cash inside. It was $50,000 in total, but that wasn't all. There was another note for him. It said, I collected this money for my granddaughter who lived for only three days. I had dreamed about buying her many things with this money, but that day never came. I hope this will help your children. Oh my God, that's so terrible. I wonder who the crib belonged to. Carl decided to share his find with Mrs. Jones as she was the one who led him to the notes and the money. But when he went to her house the next day, he noticed something strange. There was a sticky note on her door for him. This is my new address, Carl. I'm relocating, but I'll continue getting groceries from your store. I hope you drop by sometime to enjoy my delicious cookies, Mrs. Jones. Carl was in tears when he read Mrs. Jones's note. He realized it was her all along. Her handwriting gave it away. It matched the one in the letter he found in the crib and the note he'd found in the grocery store. Mrs. Jones had been assisting him all along. Carl immediately went to Mrs. Jones's new address and when she opened the door, he hugged her teary-eyed. Why didn't you tell me it was you helping us? You've been an angel in disguise, Mrs. Jones. I just wanted to help you without hurting your dignity, Carl, she said, patting him on the back. 
I knew if I offered you the money, you'd never take it. I had to do it this way. How do I even thank you, Mrs. Jones? He cried. After reading your note about you losing your granddaughter, I was thinking about how difficult it must have been for you. So I want to propose something to you. Would you like to be my daughter's grandmother? I sincerely hope you wouldn't say no. Mrs. Jones's eyes welled up. Oh, look at you. You made me cry. Do you think I'd ever refuse such an offer? I'd love to, sweetheart. I'd love to. So Carl bought a bigger house and proposed to Mrs. Jones that she move in with them. The older lady accepted the offer and sold her old home. She became a loving grandmother to Carl's twins and a part of his happy family. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.